Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service now hacks. So in this video, the topic which we are picking is can we enable the business rule as a scheduled job? So let's see how we can enable that or whether it is possible or not. Let's get started. So for that, I'll just take a incidents incident table. I'll just filter with the active true. And for this particular user and P1. So now I have taken the P1 tickets. So I'll just create a simple business rule. For getting this incidents updated from P1 to P2. We'll see how that works. So I'll just select the table. Incident, I'll go for advanced. In this, I'll not select anything, whether before, insert, after, I'll be not touching anything, even I'll not be giving condition anything, so that uh, when the ticket actually updates or incident, you know, uh, tickets updates or insert, delete query, so this BR will not run. I'll have to make this BR to be running as a scheduled job, like every two minutes, every five minutes, one hour, right? So we'll see how that works. So I'll just write a simple script here by selecting the incident tickets P1. So this is the script I have, script I have run, which I'm taking active true that caller and P1 ticket, and I'm making this to P2. I'll just save this. So now I have saved this when to run condition is blank so that this will not run when the ticket is actually inserted updated right. So let me go to schedule job in this you'll have to go to system schedulers schedule jobs today's schedule jobs also you can open just go to new and create a new one right. And this will be remain same job ID would be run script job and state would be ready in this job context. You have to add a simple script. The script is. If C. So this is the script you have to add the script name which we are taking from the BR. Basically what it does is. It will take the BR script, business rule script, whatever it is there, or business rule actions, whatever it is there, that will take it and accordingly it will run. Basically, it executes the entire script, you know, from the business rule, right? I'll also mention this interval to two minutes and save this. So the next action is at seven o'clock, five minutes. Let's wait for this job to execute. Then we'll see what happens to all this incident, whether this will go as P2 or P1, we'll be able to see that. So, so now you see, I have, you know, this has been run. If you reload, see this has been run at uh, seven, five. So if I reload this and if I remove this, See, all has been updated to P2, correct? So basically, yes, the business rule can also be acted as a scheduled job. And you know, uh, it's worth knowing it when we are in a service now world. And also the one more thing which I'm going to showcase is now. Now we have created a business rule, which is an active business rule and we have you know, run this, right? So now the incident are in P2, let us update this back to P1 again. I'll, cha I'll just change this to P2 and make it to p1 and before saving i'll also make it inactive so now the br is inactive business rule is inactive let's see whether schedule job will still check the script and run it or not so next to next available time is 7 7 we'll wait for one more minute to just to you know check this out see all has been updated to p1 back so the schedule job has run again and it has taken the BR script and you know everything has been updated to P1 again. So why I'm showcasing this is uh, basically 
Well, first thing is business rule can also be acted as a scheduled job and we can write a script in the business rule and run it. The second thing is basically this schedule job will never check whether the business rule is active or inactive. It only takes the script from this and you know it runs. Sometimes if you are using this feature, ensure you are in making this inactive and also you are removing the schedule job if you don't want that BR to be run as a schedule job. So that's it for this video. Kindly subscribe my channel for more videos if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you all.